Hi, Saints, and welcome back to Supernatural by Design. My name is Jared. I pray that you've been having a wonderful and blessed week and that God's grace and peace is with you. Saints, this is an urgent, urgent message. It's very important. Recently, I was talking with one of our Messianic brothers in Christ, Brother Joseph, and he provided some very unique insights and patterns that I think you'll be interested in. Check this out. Did you know that in 1914, there was an earthquake in Turkey? In fact, in 1939, there was an earthquake in Turkey. In fact, the very same years that World War I started and World War II started. Now, what makes these earthquakes unique is that they landed on Jewish holidays. So we have earthquakes in Turkey on Jewish holidays the same years that World War I and II started. Saints, you know this recent earthquake in Turkey on February 6th? It just landed on a Jewish holiday to be Shabbat. In fact, he even stated when that earthquake took place, he understood the significance of what that earthquake was pointing to. Isn't that fascinating? The war rapture is on approach. But check this out. Another unique insight he shared with me. And it's tied to Russia. In Jeremiah 6 verses 22 and 23, it states this. This is what the Lord says. Behold, there is a people coming from the Northland and a great nation will be stirred up from the remote parts of the earth. They seize bow and spear. They are cruel and have no mercy. Their voice roars like the sea and they ride on horses lined up as a man for the battle against you, daughter of Zion. And if you're familiar with Ezekiel 38, some of this language should sound familiar to you. But check this out. I was talking with Brother Carlo from the Bible Architecture just last night. And one thing that God has uniquely taught him was that chapters and verses are tied to years in a very intricate way and more than I even realized before this conversation. But check this out. So verse 22, is that pointing to the year of 2022? And verse 23, is that pointing to the year of 2023? Well, if you notice in verse 22, the great nation from the remotest parts of the north, Russia, they are stirred up. Didn't the Ukraine invasion begin in 2022? Because in the year 2023, in accordance with verse 23, they ride on horses. Now, why is that significant? Remember this quote by the former president of Russia back in 2022? He stated, one can believe that the horsemen of the apocalypse are already on their way. Saints, that's incredible. This quote is backing up Jeremiah 6 and Ezekiel 38. They are linked to the horses of the apocalypse when this war breaks out. And so coming back to Jeremiah 6, at some point, Russia is going to focus their attention on Israel, which is exactly what Ezekiel 38 tells us. In fact, if we look at verse 24, coinciding with the year of 2024, we have heard the report of it. Our hands are limp. Anguish has seized us. Pain like that of a woman in childbirth. Saints, this is profound. Brother Carlo, Brother Joseph, thank you for bringing these two connections together. Saints, we are almost out of here. The war rapture is about to happen. And I earnestly believe it's tied to Purim. Not on Purim, but somehow during the entire month of Adar's very open window. It could even be by the end of the month. Depending on how Putin's speech goes, Saints, it's about to escalate. But anyways, I just wanted to share this with you real quickly as I'm trying to get and finish the Amos Code connection video as that paints Russia and China against the U.S. And we add in a fascinating connection to the Super Bowl. As we'll see in that video, when you take those two connections, plus this dream that a subscriber sent, which is also highlighting the significance of Esther, saying the rapture is very close, which is fascinating. It's amazing. I'm excited. 
you should be excited too. Glory to God. He is dropping wisdom to the watchmen and watch women. And with that said, I love y'all. Jesus loves y'all. And Maranatha, King Jesus.